Hi everyone, I'm Megan with Advanced Security by Train Ace. I'm going to share some information with you today about two topics we are both obviously interested in, hacking and money. One key concept that is taken into account when weighing the pros and cons of any career decision is the monetary outcome. Before we delve into that though, we must first determine what exactly a certified ethical hacker is. A certified ethical hacker is exactly as the name states, an individual who is certified or licensed to hack into a company's network infrastructure to discover potential weaknesses in their system. The benefits to this are huge. It allows a company to secure these weaknesses before a threat gains access to the databases and causes irreversible damage. To become EC Council certified, you must first pass the CEH exam. Many topics are covered in this exam, from penetration testing to cryptography. The material that is covered will make any CEH a dangerous opponent to attackers. As Easy Council says, to beat a hacker, you need to think like one. In the United States, certified ethical hackers are in high demand. Job growth in this field is increasing exponentially with the number of companies switching over to computers to house all of their master files. So, with new practices come new employment opportunities. In the U.S., the average salary range for a hacker is about $57,000 to $84,000. As a baseline, you can expect to be offered about $60,000 per year. This number will only grow with experience, just as the salary of any other trade will. Expect to make close to $100,000 when you have 10 years of experience under your belt and multiple projects that will prove your worth to any company. Another thing to factor in when discussing CEH's salaries is under what specialty you decide to go into. But I'll go over that a little bit later. So what U.S. cities pays the most and which the least? Well, Chicago and Milwaukee are known to be on the high end, while Baltimore and San Antonio, Texas are on the lower end. This is obviously a generalized statement, and salaries do vary greatly on a company-to-company -company basis. The need for hackers doesn't stay rooted in the U.S. Let's take a look at other tech powerhouses across the world. In Canada, the salary range is about 62000 to 74000 Canadian dollars, very comparable to what is earned in the United States, and just like in the United States, expect this number to grow as your years in the industry increase. In the United Kingdom, entry-level jobs pay is about approximately 16,000 pounds, growing to upward of 36,000 pounds. As before, grows with experience. If you are looking for work in India, you can expect to start out at 178,486 rupees and work your way all the way up to almost 400,000 rupees. The countries that have been listed are not the only ones in need of certified ethical hackers. Their services are needed anywhere there is a large company which operates and controls large amounts of electronic data. Having a CEH certification will open up many opportunities for you. It is like an umbrella, and there are many fields which you can choose to work in with this certification. I'll go over a few with you, just so you grasp the spectrum. The first is a penetration tester. A pen test is a method which can evaluate how secure a network is. As a pen tester, you will act as a hacker does. You attempt to access a facility system through any holes or glitches it may have. By determining a system's vulnerabilities, you can provide a company with a defense plan on how to seal up the holes and prevent any unwanted attackers from accessing their information. Pen testers will average out at about $88,000 a year. This greatly depends on whether they operate in-house or freelance. I'll cover that in just a moment. Another popular job is a cybersecurity engineer. As a security engineer, you can set up and design a company's technological infrastructure. Companies hire security engineers and hope that their system will be protected from the start. You will design their network with the idea of protection in mind. Many companies are trending towards hiring security network engineers versus normal network engineers with only a bleak background in security. This is to prevent the need for more protection work to be done later on. The average salary in this field is 91,000 US dollars. The last thing I'm going to discuss with you is in-house work versus freelance. This can be a major contributing factor when talking salary. An in-house hacker works for one company exclusively. A freelance hacker works on a contract basis. Let's use a penetration tester as an example. If you are salaried at 70000 for a company, they may use you to perform as many tests and other tasks that they want. If you decide to perform freelance work, you can float around to different companies on a case-to-case -case basis, potentially working on more than one account at a time if you'd like. The opportunities are endless with freelance, but stability is going to be provided in salary work. If all of this sounds like something you'd like more information on, you have come to the right place. Advanced Security by Train Ace is a two-time Easy Council ATC of the Year. We employ the best subject matter expert instructors who are ready to get you on the right track to becoming a CEH. Thanks a lot for taking the time out of your day to gain a little insight about what's